In this video, we learn how to close a sub tab in Lightning Console app using Workspace API. So let's go to our VS Code. Let's create a new Lightning Web component, and I'll give the name as Close Sub Tabs. So the first thing I'm going to add the meta configuration here, XML configuration. So I'll set the version 60 is exposed to and set the targets. Then we'll come to HTML file, we'll create the card, we'll give the title, sub tabs, and here we'll use a div with a class SLES padding around medium. And here we'll create a button, lightning button, we'll give a label this button as close all sub tabs and here we can add on click and say close sub tabs handler and say close all sub tab handler and we'll create this method inside our js now we have to import a couple of method from the platform workspace api so let's import that import first thing we need is is console navigation second we want is get focus tab info third one is close tab okay now it should be c small close tab now we'll start with uh, we need to import it from lightning slash platform works this api now first we'll call is console navigation for that we need wire we'll say at wire Give me it will tell me whether it's a console navigation app or not we'll store that as a property we'll change i to small it can be any name and here we'll say whenever somebody click this button it needs to check first whether it's a console navigation or not if it is then do the rest of the functionality now here to close all the sub tab first we need to know the focus tab info so we'll call that focus tab info and we, we if we are using async kind of it then we need to decorate it with async keyword and it's a promise call so we'll decorate it with the await so once it returns the response we'll store that response into tab info you can do the destructuring here itself with the sub tabs but to simplify it i'll go with just simply variable tab info and here we'll check if the tab info has a sub tabs then run the loop on all the tabs so here what we're going to do is we'll say go to sub tab it's it going to return a list of sub tabs so in a single parent tab you can have 10 sub tabs or two sub tabs right so let's run the loop for each sub tab we call each current item in the loop as tab so we'll say go to each tab and call the method close tab and pass the tab dot tab id so basically the method will remain same but the tab id will be different and tab id this time going to point out to all the sub tabs that associated with the focus tab so let's see if this approach works and help us to close all the sub tabs let's deploy this so the component is deployed let's go and place it on the page
and on the left hand side you can see our close sub tabs component let's drag that to the page drag it to the top yeah just save it once it's saved let's go back to the page now to test this scenario what we can do is right now we have a case tab we'll go to account it open one sub tab all right and then we can go to further opportunities of the account and open couple of more tabs i'll open three opportunities here now ideally if i come back to my case ideally if i click on this close all sub tab it should close all the sub tabs only the tab should be remaining so let's test this out you see it closed everything and the main tab is only remaining so that's how you can close it but if you have a scenario where you want to close only specific type of tab so i think like if we have three opportunities under the main tab and you want to only close those opportunities right so now i have two opportunities open one account in one case so on click of a button if you want to close opportunity we still can do that for that what we can do is let's go and create a new method uh, we call it as a sync close all opportunity sub tabs Okay, so here what we can do is we'll do the simply same thing first we will get, check whether it's a console navigation app or not then we'll call the get focus tab info we'll go to all sub tabs and in this sub tabs what we can do is we can simply check if the tab got icon text alternative text you can use any flag to test it let's see if the text is of opportunity each tab has their alternative text right it's if it's an account lead case so if it is an opportunity close that tab otherwise it will not close it so let's try this and let's add one more button here Close all opportunity and we'll call this method. Let's deploy. And it is deployed. Let's go and see if it's closing all the opportunities or not. Let's refresh it. It didn't print the button on screen let's refresh one more time now we have our button close all opportunities so here you have opportunities two opportunities open here one is this one second is this one so i want on click of this it should close only these two sub tabs not the account in the case so let's hit here and you can see it get closed so now our close tab is working but we did one mistake because as i mentioned this is all a promise call so it should be decorated with a weight but the thing is it is giving an error and the reason is because we have a function inside the forage so we need to decorate it with the async keyword so we'll simply say async this function is async and here also will decorate it now our component is ready uh, we learned how to close the sub tabs so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video